Well, you know what? He's a very good speaker. He is. You know, we were talking about it in the green room when he was off air. Is in this world before he was ever the you know presidential oh, candidate. And? He's a great. Well, he's. I think he's great, but I think he, some very important points he's missing that he's not talking about. People they criticize him about his foreign policy. Nobody knows what he was doing before he was at uh, uh, Godfather Pizza. He was a rocket scientist. I mean, he yeah. actually knows some things that he doesn't really talk much about. He, but he I, don't, I don't. I don't think he's real. I don't think he has staying power. Really? Uh, you don't. Do, I mean, I, I've always said. Romney, 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 well, Romney. Okay, but I'm saying, do, do we have to consider him now the top tier candidate at this point? Oh, I think we, we do. You have I think to. we do. He's he's actually well, won week. something, and well, but yeah, I'll wait till we're back next week. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I think he's a serious candidate, and and at least I think he'll be very serious consideration for a vice presidential candidate. Um, well, I mean, his 999 plan is getting a lot of scrutiny right now. Yeah, I, and, and I have and, to say, I wish I had a better understanding of that. For example, the nine percent sales tax is that on top of existing state sales taxes so that's what's not i don't know yeah right so in new york yeah. we're all of a sudden paying a 17 percent sales tax i don't know and i mean that's a little bit of the problem of being the great soundbite guy because 999 everybody remembers it's a great soundbite meanwhile nobody can describe what yeah, it really is though well i think i i know what he's talking about but i don't know how it works so there are those who are concerned that it would really hurt uh lower income people who would be paying uh nine percent sales tax uh, at a time when they can hardly afford to deal with the yes, taxes. Yes, but of course have. the people who, those same people were lofting in the idea of a value-added tax right. without any compunction whatsoever. So, look, the answer is we need to raise revenue, or at least some people think we need to raise revenue, and he's got a plan for doing it, but it's not fleshed out as far as I know. Well, the thing, um, but I, I think what know. people find refreshing is that he has a plan. Yeah. He has something <laughs> out there that he's to consider, whereas the other candidates really haven't put together nuts and bolts presentation about what their vision is you know and that and that I think is something different that that's because out. it's complicated yeah it's very right? complicated obviously and, but he's yeah. hired people to get go ahead and try to tackle this it's not yeah. just that yeah. it's yeah. complicated because it's incredibly complicated if you're able to solve that complex problem then you have to articulate how you're going to solve the com that's even more complicated than the complicated problem was to begin with because <laughs> most people watching I mean really, no, no, most you're totally right no one wants to no one wants to get into the weeds yeah on, that's why 999 works I agree on any kind of policy actually right. but the I mean, unfortunately tax across the board sounds like a good deal. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. We all people, like that yeah. until you actually start computing your deductions and, you know, and the sales tax and stuff. But my guess is there is no free lunch, right? No. We have, we're it's spending too much. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that guess before. <laughs> Somebody said that once. <laughs> but aren't they all promising a free lunch? I think so, yeah, You right? know what? We'll I mean, vote for free lunch. Yes, maybe we can get it for free. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just think it'll be, it'll, we've got... Um, We've got another week or so before the next debate. Is it the Bloomberg debate that's coming up? Oh, um, I guess that's right. There's another debate. So, you know, we'll have to see. Michelle Bachman has kind of, like, disappeared uh, for the most. lost a couple of uh, campaign uh, staffers this week who decided to bail on her. And well, it, it, in that next debate, if Christie gets in, he's going to be, every, all eyes will be on him. Right. And if he doesn't, it will be on, I believe, on, on still on. Well, and Perry. Uh, yeah, and Perry is Perry. Yeah. And will he be able to stay after the next I, debate? I think this whole uh, controversy about the yeah, I mean, I I'm so add, bored with this. I yeah. think it's so completely stupid. What, what do you think? Oh, I think it's stupid. Who, uh, honestly, I mean, that's besides, I mean, the whole the whole idea of going back to 1983. Oh, I don't and, know. And, and, I mean, and talking about something that happened so long ago, a piece of land that belonged to his dad. Well, and no one and, seems to really know what it's all about. Right. Oh, what there, the there was a rock whatever. that wasn't a rock that know, was yeah. here that I wasn't mean, there that nobody saw that we might have seen. I, I, mean, I don't know. What, I, mean, that's I have really, yet to see one like declarative thing about this quote unquote rock. I, I think what's much more important is that he really is not very articulate. He can't really come up with, you know, sort of well rehearsed, um, not only uh, proposals, but answers to pe to what people, you know, say about his time in, in, as a as a governor. I, I think he's kind of stumbled here pretty badly. I don't think he's. But to, um, again, you say that, and I always say we're still a year away, technically. Yeah. You know, and yeah. the people, and he just got in not long ago. So over time, one becomes more polished and more ready. They, they, you know, they you, do. You know, but they, first of all, it takes a lot of time. And second, uh, like he is, um, I mean, his polish yes. and the amount. Of, like you look at presidents as they age in office. Not, not I don't right. mean physically. I, Mentally, as they get better at doing their job, when they realize what they you know, what, what they signed up to do, what they got voted to do, he's he talks a lot about his state. It's a big country, and I don't know that we want it to be run like his state. Well, this is what he talks about most as a Texan, ah. well, you know, you don't translate a Texan. Ooh, I forgot. Oh. <laughs>
I'll tell you, yeah, we do tend to think of uh, for Texas, Texans, it, their it, state it, is it, the United right. States of yeah, America. Yeah, yeah. No, it is, it is another country unto itself, definitely. You know, but well, yeah, but I hope they, they, you know, they should be planning to stay in this country, not talking about leaving. There was a time, you know, where he was talking. He was part of that discussion about seceding from the union. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, that, I mean, that's what that, Texans think. Yeah. I mean, you're a Texan, so I shouldn't speak for you. You don't want to mess with her. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, a Texan and a New Yorker, and also Indian. So uh, the combination. But Texas is my second home. That's where I grew up, and I know. The way people, you know, feel and the way they act and how how loyal they are to their Texan roots. You, and you it's know amazing. what I think? It's also, so fascinating. I think that Perry is dinged by the fact that he kind of reminds people of George W. Bush. And even though there are a lot of Republicans out there who would say bring him back, you know, today, given what's gone on in the last three years, the truth is, I don't think the country is ready for GWB. Two, you but know? is that really fair to you know? Uh, no, that, not that, at all. That he's another, you know, that he reminds them of. of no, of but George there are some Bush. similarities. You I know, there are say. some similarities. I mean, besides the accent, yeah. you know, cowboy boots, the cowboy boots, and that type of thing. But um, it's yeah, but the country really. I mean, a lot of voters are, uh, you know, no disrespect to a lot of voters, but they're about as shallow as the cowboy boots. I mean, that similarity, which has nothing to do with, with with the people or their policies. That's what everybody should know: is what are their policies? What do they stand for? That's why when somebody comes up with a plan and they'll actually articulate what the plan is, that, that's the kind of things we should be listening. To.